be setting up my Mac with this new 27 inch Acer screen. Um, so what you guys will need is one of these two adapters. So this HDMI adapter and this VGA. So it depends what connection you guys want. I recommend getting both uh, just in case, but for most of you, you want your HDMI cable adapter, okay? So you guys want this, that's how it looks like. So that's HDMI, and this goes right into your computer. Now it does depend what Mac you guys have, but most of you will just have this, and you guys will only have one space to put this in. So you don't have multiple ports, you usually just have one. And from there, your Acer, you already have this hooked up, hopefully. You guys may have a VGA, by the way, that's how it looks like. Um, I would just recommend going for HDMI. I'm not really sure why they send you the VGA cable nowadays. But anyways, you just hook that up there. You turn on your Acer computer, your Acer screen, sorry. Hook it up. What you guys will see is an automatic mirroring. So it's supposed to get your screen right away, okay? So right away. So it's supposed to just go through stages, maybe three stages, and then right away you're gonna see your mirror effect. Now, most of you don't want that. You guys want to expand your screen. So you don't want to see exactly what you see here, up here, uh, for most of you uh, that want to use two screens. So we're gonna have to go into system preferences, and from there, we're gonna have to go into displays. So, under system preferences, you go into displays, and from there, and my battery's almost out, so let's finish this up really fast. So, um, what we want is not to mirror. So right now it's mirroring, and, okay. So, um, right here, where you said, it says AirPlay, don't worry about that, arrangement, okay. So once you're in arrangement, make sure to take off mirror, and that way, you have an extended desktop, okay? So right now, this is one screen, that's another screen, okay? And uh, you can move things around. So I can move things from this screen to that screen and so on. So something that you guys may want to see. So right now, as you can see, whatever I'm doing this screen doesn't happen on this screen because they're two separate screens. And uh, your color display. Now this depends, it all depends on you guys, okay? Um, uh, whether in your graphic design or not just choose whatever works best for you what I like usually is Apple RGB that's a personal choice a lot of you are gonna tell me no you shouldn't do that you should just keep this default setting but you know what I like Apple RGB on it it looks nice but then again you guys can choose whatever looks better um, if you're gra into graphic design, of course, you guys will have to calibrate this a little better so you get true colors. And down here below, you guys can see the arrangement. So you can have this screen wherever. So if this Mac is on to my left hand side, so I want this screen to be on the right, right? So I can just move these screens around. Um, so I can move it to the right or left, it depends. And my main screen is the one that has that bar on it. Okay? So. I'm always usually gonna have my bar on my Mac itself. And I'm always gonna have this one a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more up than this other one. So that works well. So let's say I want to move this onto this screen. I can, right? And I can move it back to the screen, back to the screen. Okay. And anything like that, you can move it around. Um, anyways. That's it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's really easy to set up. I would, again, calibrate things, make things look good. Um, but that's it. That's how you s do the main setup with your Mac. If you want multiple displays, that's a different story. But this is just to handle the two. You can mirror if you want, or you can use them as two displays, okay? Two different, almost different desktops. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.